हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी वन नाइट स्टडी चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी बेबकॉक एंड दी विलकॉक्स बॉयलर सो व्हाट इज बेबकॉक एंड विलकॉक्स बॉयलर इट इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल ड्रॉम एक्सिस नेचुरल ड्राफ्ट नेचुरल सर्कुलेशन मल्टी ट्यूबलर स्टेशनरी हाई प्रेशर सॉलिड फ्यूल फायर एक्सटर्नली फायर वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर सो फ्रेंड्स why it is called water tube boiler as i have told in the previous videos that water tube boilers are the bio boilers in which the water is flowing inside the tubes and it is surrounded by the hot flue gases as we have discussed earlier uh, lancashire boiler cochrane boiler those boilers uh, were type of fire tube boiler in the fire tube boiler in the tubes hot gases is flowing and it is surrounded by the water it was discovered by george herman babcock and stephen wilcox in the year 1967 and if was named after it's discovered as babcock and wilcox boiler so the boiler the babcock and the wilcox boiler was discovered by george Herman Babcock and Stephen Wilcox that's why it is named as Babcock and Wilcox boiler so friends how the Babcock and the Wilcox boiler looks like we will see in the next slide this is the Babcock and the Wilcox boilers and this is the line diagram of the Babcock and the Wilcox boiler these are some important parts of the Wilcox and the Babcock and Wilcox boiler now we will discuss about the construction of the babcock and the wilcox boiler in the construction of the babcock and the wilcox boiler the various main parts of the babcock and wilcox boilers are as follows drum it is a horizontal axis drum which is contains water and steam down tack header in the babcock and the wilcox boiler there are two types of the header down tack header and the up tack header from the down tack header the water is drawn from the drum to the water tubes and in the uptake header the steam which is produced is sent to the drum water tubes in the water tubes water is situated and it is burnt by the furnace baffle plates baffle plates are present in between water tubes and it allows the zigzag motion of hot flue gases from the furnace it is very important part of the babcock and the wilcox boiler sometimes it is asked in the semester exams also and vivas also fire door it is used to ignite the solid fuel grate it is a base on which the burning of the solid fuel takes place mud collector it is present at the bottom of down tack header and used to collect the mud present in the water fit check valve it is used to fill water into the drum and the last one is dremper it regulates the flow of air in the boiler so now we will see one by one all the parts by the diagram so this is our babcock and the wilcox boiler you can see here that these are two types of the header this is down tack header and this is up tack header the water is drawn to the down tack header and here it is converted into the steam and then sent to the up tack header and the steam is sent from upward header to the drum so and the other part is uh, this is the grate where the fuel is burnt and these are the baffle plates these are the baffle plates which provides the zigzag motion to the hot flue gases so and this is the this is our water drum this is our water drum where it is half filled with the water and uh, this is uh, the our fusible plug when the pressure is raised you know upper limit so it is automatically shut down and our steam producing process has been stopped these are 
now we will discuss about the mountings and the accessories of the Babcox and the Wilcox boiler so basically these are some important mountings like super heater pressure gauge water level indicator and the safety valve so in the diagram here we see that this is like super heater this is stop valve safety valve and pressure gauge these four parts are the mountings and the accessories of the babcock's boiler this gives some extra features to the boilers in the super heater boiler after producing a stream the stream is sent to the super heater where it is converted where the temperature of the stream is increased very high this is the anti priming pipe what does it do anti priming pipe removes water content from the stream which is produced now we will see the working principle of the babcock and the wilcox boiler so first water starts come in the water tubes from drum through downtack header and the water present in the inclined water tubes gets heated up by the hot flue gases and the coal burning on the grate produces hot flue gases and it is forced to move in the zigzag way with the help of baffle plates okay as the hot flue gases come in contact with the water tubes it exchanges the heat with water and converts it into steam the steam generator is moved upward and through up tech header it gets collected at upper side in the boiler drum an anti priming pipe is provided in the drum this anti priming pipe filters the water content from the steam and allows only dry stream to enter into super heater the super heater receives the water free stream from the anti priming pipe it increases the temperature of the steam to desired level and transfers it to the steam stop valve the super heated steam from the steam stop valve is either collected in a steam drum or made to strike on the steam turbine for electricity generation so in the babcock and the wilcox line diagram i will explain the working procedure of the boiler so please care please see it carefully look first of all the water which is coming from this drum okay it is come it comes through the downtake header and sent to the water tubes okay and this is our furnace where fuel is burned and hot gases is produced and this hot gases is sent by the baffle plates in the zigzag motion okay and here water inside the water tubes absorbs heat from the hot gases and converted into steam and it is sent to the water drum again by the uptake header okay and here anti priming pipe which removes water content from the steam which was produced okay and after anti priming pipe steam is again sent to the super heater where the steam is get super heated and then it is sent to the steam drum where the steam is separately removed from the water drum now we will discuss about the advantages and the disadvantages of babcock and the wilcox boiler advantages steam generation capacity is high it is about 2000 to 40000 kg per hour it occupies less space replacement of defective tube is easy it is the only boiler that is used to generate large quantity of heat in power stations the draught loss is minimum inspection of this types of boiler can be done any time during its working disadvantages high maintenance cost it is not much suitable for impure and sedimentary water in case of impure and sedimentary water scale may deposit in the tubes and this leads to 
overheating and burning of the tubes that's why water treatment is must before feeding into the boiler so basically friend this is the main disadvantages of this boiler we need you know clean water to produce steam because using impure and sedimentary type of the water you know some deposition in the tubes are being placed next one is the continuously supply of feed water is required for the working in the case if feed water is not continuously supplied even for a short period of time the boiler gets superheated water level must be carefully watched during the operation of the belcox and the wilcox boiler so friends as here we have discussed about the working principle of the Babcock and the Wilcox boiler we have discussed some important parts of the Babcock and the Wilcox boiler we have seen the advantages and the disadvantages of the Wilcox boiler so friends if you haven't subscribe our channel then please subscribe our channel like our videos and share with your friends thank you friends